Welcome to this VBA Quickie. Here I'm going to show you two ways to make dynamic range references in VBA. So you have a list of values in the worksheet and you add something to the list. Well, you want it to expand for that new value or you remove it and you don't want to have an empty cell contained in that range reference. This method over here is not going to use any named ranges or anything, just values in the cells. And over here we're going to use a table which is named TBL Colors. Well, let's go to the VBA window and get started, Alt F11. And we'll start with the first basic range reference, no table. And the first thing to do is to reference the worksheet with your data. This isn't required, but you're going to run into problems if you have multiple worksheets and don't do this. So worksheets, the name of the worksheet, and range. And what we're going to do is to make a reference like this, where this right here is the first cell in the range, and then we get the second cell in the range. And we will select it so that we can see visually what's going on. So let's run this and go back to the worksheet. You can see we have the entire range selected. So all we have to do is to get this four. Although it's going to look a little bit crazy when we do that. So ampersand. Now we make a big long range reference. Reference the worksheet that has the range on it and range and the column where your range is located, so column A. And then we're going to go to the very last row in the worksheet, so rows.count, and close that up, then dot end, then Excel up, which is like hitting control and the up arrow key on the keyboard. And then what we need to do now, since we have the range reference of the last cell in the range already, is to get its row number, so dot row. And this big long thing is it. Let's go back here, select a way to make sure it works, and Alt F8, run the macro. There you go. Now this is big, it's long, it's crazy, and there's a lot of things going on. And yes, there are ways to make this easier. If you have a little bit more programming skills, look into with and with. But all you have to change are the column references and the range references. So a couple places for A and then this too. Now let me show you how to do it for our table. Let's comment this guy out. Reference the worksheet that contains your table. This is required this time. Then list objects. That's actually what a table is programmatically. Then the name TBL colors and data body range dot select. Let's go back to the worksheet. Hit Alt F8 or run this guy. There you go. Now we can add a new value to this and no problem. And now we have two ways to get an automatically updating range reference for new data added and data removed. And if you have any questions, feel free to go to the forum on teachxl.com and ask there. And I'll put a link to it in the description of this video.